<clears throat> Hi, it's Nick on the 28th of October uh, with episode 6 of Wholeheartedness and um, dealing with our brokenheartedness and our heartbreaks. And I think one of the most difficult, and I'm smiling because it's, it's so sad, it's kind of funny in a way, it's so dramatic. I think we all have you know, moments in our journey, probably many moments of what I would call all hope is lost. You know, you see that in any good film or any good story. And it's part of the hero's journey that, you know, we hear this call to adventure. We hear this, um, you know, calling um, about living our true life and showing up in the world and leading the way. And there comes a point, if not a point, over and over again where we just kind of go, I can't do this. This is just too much. You know, I've run out of money. I've run out of resources. I've run out of support. It just seems impossible. In my experience, they're often kind of replays of heartbreaks that we had when we were younger. You know, I think a lot of my kind of all hope is lost moments have been replays of times when I felt that when I was growing up, when I just felt my heart was shattered and it was just too difficult and I can't carry on, I just want to give up and die. Uh, I think a lot of us can kind of recognize that. Um, and then we encounter them again as, as soon as we kind of, you know, as when we're on our journey of adventure to show up in the world as we truly are. And I think one of the most powerful things we can do is be honest about, you know, our moments when it just feels like we can't do this. We're just not in that. We're just inadequate. We're just not up to the job. It's just too big. The task is too big. The mountain to climb is too big. And those places, you know, when we're honest and often when we let ourselves feel what we're feeling, the heartbreak, the they're just wanting to give up, probably the death temptations, just wanting to kind of give up on life and give up on ourselves. When we are really honest about those, we realize that A, other people had them and we're not alone. It's not just us that feels them. But B, you know, if we allow ourselves to really feel those, then often what comes out of that is a new birth. But it's the resistance to, offer to those all hope is lost moments uh, that can be the cause of further pain. Um, so yeah, it's, it's learning to recognize that they happen, not shaming yourself, not attacking yourself. But if it's possible, even to have a, a little bit of humor that just kind of goes, <laughs> this is an all hope is lost moment. This happens to everybody. I can get through this. There is a higher power. There is a part of me, whatever you believe in, that can get through this. Um, and I know it's not easy. And I know it's heartbreaking when we're in those places because we just want to die because they're so difficult and so painful. But they are also the birthing places of a new beginning and a new chapter in my experience, personally, and for the people that I've worked with, if we have the courage or when we have the courage to really feel what we're feeling. So I hope that's helpful, and uh, be back tomorrow with the final episode. God bless. Bye-bye.